Dr. Phil drops a bombshell regarding trafficking at the U.S. border at the expense, guys, of the U.S. taxpayers. Let's get right to the video. Now, I seen you when you were down the border, you were saying that, you know, their fear was that there was a lot of drug smugglers coming in and there was a lot of sex trafficking and sex workers coming in. And that was one of the biggest fears. Duh. Uh, I'm often, uh, I'm seldom without words. And I asked Brandon Judd, who's the head of the union for, you know, nationally for the border guards. He was a former border guard. He's now head of the union. Mm -hmm. I asked him straight up, these children that are coming in, they have addresses written on their arms, mm -hmm. phone numbers written wow. on their arms. Yeah. And I say, so we're contacting those people, right? And saying, um, the child's coming in with this number. Do you know this child? Said, yes, we do. Uh, are you prepared to take this child? Yes, we are. I said, what are we doing to check these people out? Mm. I said, are we... Is it possible that we are using our resources and tax dollars to traffic young children into prostitution, mm. the sex trade, selling these children? Talk to them. Or putting them into sweat shops mm. or whatever? And he said, oh, it's not possible. We are. Woo! We are. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, you, you know, there's a camera right here over my shoulder, right? Um, you're telling me we're spending United States citizens' tax dollars to traffic young children of course. into known sex trade or, or, or sweatshops. This is what the open border thing is for also. It's not only for Democrats to get more Democrat voters coming in because illegals are going to vote Democrat because they feel like the Democrats are the ones that have the border open for them to come in. Another reason is to traffic minors, organ harvesting and all that. Let's get back to the video. He said, absolutely. I said, why have you, why are you not talking about this? Why are people not talking about what this? The hell? Mm -hmm. And he said, because people aren't asking me these direct questions like you're asking, and I'm grateful for it. Is that legal? <clears throat> of course not. What? Is that legal to be able to do that? No. Stupid question. Of course not. Uh, but they're saying we, we're we overwhelmed down here. We, we're, we're sending them on. And I, I, I said, this is outrageous. That Take the money out of it that we're funding it. Just the fact that we're Jeez. trafficking these young children. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, <clears throat> and it doesn't make a difference to me whether they're Mexican origin, Syrian, whatever. Doesn't matter. They're showing up unaccompanied and, and we're trafficking mm -hmm. them on. Th that's, that's heartbreaking to me. Absolutely. That, that, that we're doing that. And but that's why I ask is it, is it legal? Because sh shouldn't charges be brought up on those people who are at the border who are allowing those? Start with the White House first. Children to get put into sex trafficking? Yeah, you'd think so. Yeah. And he said a lot of these children are getting recycled. You'll see children come through and they'll be with a group um, to make it look like a family. And we'll see that same child cycle back through here a couple of weeks later. It's the same kid. What a different wow. family. They, they get through and then they send them back around and put them with another group and they come back two or three children come back again and as you guys can see on march 27 2021 cnn put out this article it says the biden administration projects at least 34,100 more beds needed to shelter migrant children so when i seen this back then automatically i'm like oh sex trafficking organ harvesting off top but hey i'm done talking about it I'm putting info out there. Share this video. Drop a comment. Let's talk about it. Get at your boy.